Greetings everyone. We're going to continue our explorations with Geometry Sketchpad and we're going to create a fractal known as the Koch Snowflake Curve that you see here. Uh, again, for this uh, you're going to need Geometry Sketchpad 5.0 or higher. Um, Koch Snowflake Curve, as you can see, is a fractal but it is a fractal that is a piecewise fractal and you'll uh, have a better understanding what this means. The entire shape is not a self-replica but rather parts of it, especially the edges, uh, as you'll see, are uh, fractal, fractal in nature. So let's open a new sketch. Uh, I already have a page open, so I'm going to go to Document Options and add a blank page. Uh, the first skill that we're going to acquire, uh, again, like uh, the Sierpinski quad, is uh, trisecting a segment. So we're going to use this, uh, so we might as well do that right now. So we double click on one side to declare it as the center of dilation. And then you select the other endpoint and dilate it initially as 1 over 3. And then you select, you click on a white space so you lose this selection. And again you select the other, the right endpoint. Uh, and now you dilate it again, this time 2 over 3. This will give you the um, trisection. And what we're going to now do is we're going to hide this um, segment that we have. And we're going to rotate this point around that point by 60 degree to create that broken uh, shape uh, that is the shape of the edges of the Koch curve. So you double click again to declare it as center of rotation. Select this point, go to transform, uh, rotate by 60 degrees. And now we have our shape, which we're going to complete with the help of a segment tool. And when we are done, you're going to notice we have the beginnings of the edge of a Koch snowflake curve. Now we are ready for the iteration option. Remember, here is a construction. You have to select the ancestors to wake up the iteration option. So you select the left endpoint, the right endpoint, transform, iterate. Uh, and it's going to ask you what is the uh, corresponding points for original points A and B. Now this is my left point, right point. And remember, we're going to keep adding new maps to until we are completely done with the shape. Now, this is my left and right. Add a new map. This is my new left and right. Add new map. And now, this is my left and right. You could decide how many iterations you want to continue. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going too much further than uh, iteration number four. Probably it will be too slow and it will be hard to see anyway. Okay, so here is our Koch curve edge. Um, I'm just curious if it will be helpful to hide these um, uh, segments. Yeah, it looks a little bit prettier. So now this is the edge of the Koch curve and what we're going to do is we're going to create a tool out of this. So we do it the same way as we always do. Select everything you've created, create new tool. Let's call this Koch uh, uh, curve. Uh, let's call it side. It's a side of the Koch curve. Okay. Alrighty, uh, you could test your tool by the way to see how it works. You could even do some fancy things like putting these things together. Uh, see what kind of interesting things you could sh create. Um, but we're going to create the Koch curve in a second. It's a pretty cool shape. So let me undo all of this. Um, you could actually get rid of this whole thing because you already have the tool. Uh, at this point, we just want to create a uh, equilateral triangle. And we do it in the same manner we did a few minutes ago. You select this, uh, you rotate that by 60 degrees. And the last bit, uh, 
actually we're gonna be and we're gonna end up um, you don't need the sides to be honest with you you could just uh, okay so now you can take your card side remember how it works if you go from left to right it opens upwards so I'm gonna go left to right it opens upwards left to right it opens upwards now you have the thing upside down left to right it opens upwards or in this case downwards um, and here is the Koch curve and of course once you're done with the shape you may want to turn this whole shape into a tool you could call this the Koch curve and then you could have all kinds of fun with it so let's see what we could do with it so you could go from this side to let's say this side this side to that side that side to that side you see where this is going just have fun with your tool you created a very cool fractal shape and see what kind of things can you create with it all right uh, I personally like to make everything uh, yellow because in a minute I'm gonna give it a black background let's select all of the points and hide all of the points and then you can remember uh, from the edit menu go to preferences background uh, color you could make everything dark uh, this by the way is not the Koch curve but uh, it's a variation of that and that's the beautiful thing about Jammer Sketchpad. Once you have created a shape, you can convert them it to a tool and use it for all kinds of exciting things. Alrighty, I hope you had fun. And uh, please let me know if you find exciting variations. Uh, send, send them my way. Enjoy!